Hi, thanks for joining me tonight for this simple watercolour landscape for beginners. This is the painting that we'll be painting tonight. It's going to use not many colours at all really. Payne's grey, a bit of um, burnt umber. That, that's pretty much all the colours we're going to use. So just two colours to create this beautiful landscape. So let's get started. We'll start by um, wetting the page. I'm just using this round pure Kalinsky sable. You, you could use any sable brush that you've got or mop brush and to be honest when I'm I'm wetting the page normally what I would really use is uh, some hake brushes like something like this I would use this to wet the page just easier it takes less time and in actual fact if you're wanting to wet the page even more quickly then you could use a bigger hake brush to just wet the page nice and evenly and get a fair bit of water on there. So I would suggest if you're trying to wet the page that you uh, get hold of some slightly uh, bigger brushes. It just makes it a whole lot easier. So we'll just wet the page and then I'm just going to tilt this up. at about a 40 degree angle and we'll just come in with a little bit of Payne's Grey. And we're just going to dab it around And we might even want to come in with a, a you know, a flicked out hake brush so we can just get a, some slightly bigger movements of the brush coming in, you know. using a tissue to just lift out a few lights of light coming through the clouds and I just wipe this away so that paint doesn't leak back onto the page and then we'll just dry this quickly, okay? Right, so you dry it until it's nice and flat. And then we'll just bring in a little bit of foreground here. So again, if you wanted to, you could, you could wet that. Or what we might do is just come in uh, with a little bit of um, burnt umber pigment just on its own. And then we'll come in with some water in a second. So we'll just Bring in a nice strong mix of that across there like that. We'll just wash the brush out and then just come in uh, with a wet brush. And then we might just charge a little bit of that with a bit of the Payne's Grey. And I might just charge a little bit of that with a little bit of a warmth of some sort, like a little bit of yellow ochre or something, but you don't have to do that at all. The other thing we could do to just make it a bit more interesting is we could just come along and just uh, with a wet brush that I've just flicked out just come along and just soften that edge a bit.
may have gone a bit far there, but just to soften that edge a little bit. And I could tilt it this way if I wanted to, to make sure that it doesn't run up too much. But one thing that's worth realizing with um, with burnt umber is that it does move very easily on the page. It explodes out pretty easily. And I could have waited a little bit more till it was a little bit more dry. And I might just, I might just bring in a bit of light coming across here, just because it's catching the landscape just there. And what's probably a good thing to do now is to just dry it again, okay? Just keep it safe, just dry it again. Just before I do, I'm just gonna lift a tiny bit more out just here. All right, I'll loop. So to finish with, we're just gonna come in with a little bit of a, 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 a tree. A little bit of a tree just here. We're just going to just get a bit of foliage happening. And then I'm just going to come in with a, with a sharp, with a knife, and it's not that sharp, but uh, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of pigment on that and then just I could probably just take that out a smidgen with a tissue and then take out a bit more, turn the tissue again, turn the tissue again, really just take a bit of that out just to reduce. And then I probably should have put the tree sort of more about here so it felt a bit more like it's a bit too much on the edge of the edge of the painting there. And the other thing of course I could do is just come in with a slightly watery mix of just you know a bit more of a some trees and then I could just even use the handle of this and again then I can just dab them out a bit and I'll just be receding into the background a bit. off into the distance. And the only other thing we could do a little bit of, just to keep it really nice and simple for beginners, is just to put in a little bit of a distant mountain. So you could play around with what strength tone you wanted, but just a very nice light tone here off in the distance. We'll just put in the suggestions of some mountains. And then we'll rinse that brush out completely, tilt it up, And then what we'll do is we'll get, again just take a little bit of tissue out of it just just to make it a bit more interesting. And we could probably just bring in a, a tiny bit more just here. Rinse it all out again and again and flick it and then just Grade that down. And again, we'll just take a little bit of light off there. Bit of a misty mountain in the background. So it's a pretty simple landscape and we can dry it so it's all nice and flat. 
And so this is on Archer's 300 GSM medium cold pressed paper, by the way, just so you know, but it, all, all the information will be in the description, the colors and the brushes, all that sort of thing. I just thought one last thing we might do just to make this a little bit interesting is we might just lift out a little bit of a light here. We'll see how that goes, but I've, I've worked this a fair bit with the brush, so we'll see how well that lifts out. So you decide where you want the body of water to be and then put the tape down. I'm using 3M Magic Tape for this because it's arches. If I was using softer paper, I would have to use 3M Magic Removable Tape. I'm gonna use a nice flat nylon here and get some nice fresh water. And then I'm gonna flick it out and take out even a bit more on the brush. And then I'm just going to come in and because there's not a lot of contrast here, we'll see where, how much this lifts out, okay? We'll see, we'll just get the nice damp brush and take it along here. I'm just gonna jiggle, jiggle, jiggle and then come along with the tissue and just lift this out and lift this out. Turn the tissue and then we'll get the tape. And we'll just peel that off carefully. If it's too sticky, you can always heat it up with a hairdryer, okay? So you can heat it up and it'll come off more easily. And if you wanted to accentuate that even a little bit further, then you could get a a, a ruler of some sort, put it down where you want it, and get a, a razor blade, something like this, an old Stanley razor blade, decide where you want that, that line to be. Sometimes you need a bit of a good light. Uh, and then you can just scrape a little bit back and forth. Where you want that line to be and take that away. Brush the paper away. And then if you wanted, you could accentuate that down a bit further. Even be taking it across to over the end, which is pretty cool. Nice. So really a very simple landscape of some, you know, Payne's grey, wet in wet, leaving some white areas, then using a tissue to lift out some lights, and then just bringing in the, the, the foreground with the uh, burnt umber, little bit of Payne's grey there. I put a little bit of yellow oak in here, but you wouldn't even know that. You don't need to use yellow oak. You just use some sort of brown and then charge it with a bit more dark. And then we softened the edge here a bit using the, the round sable. Then, then we brought in these, these uh, trees here. And then we brought in some distant mountains, lifted out the, the body of water, and, and now we're done. So, Thanks for joining me for this. It's a nice, simple landscape for beginners in watercolor. Uh, but there are, again, lots of nice processes that can help you to then build upon to paint more complex paintings. So thanks for joining me for this. If you liked this, then please press like. And, and if you'd like to know about future videos, then press the subscribe button and press the bell button so you get notified about all my videos. And if you'd like to learn more about watercolor, then you can join me on Patreon. So thanks for joining me this week for this nice, simple watercolor, and I'll see you in a week's time. Good night.